Bamidbar chapter 31 And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Take vengeance for the children of Israel on the Midianites. After that you are to be gathered to your people. And Moshe spoke to the people, saying, Arm some of yourselves for the campaign, and let them go against the Midianites to take vengeance for Yahweh on Midian. Send a thousand from each tribe of all the tribes of Israel for the campaign. So there were supplied from the tribes of Israel one thousand from each tribe, twelve thousand armed ones for the campaign. And Moshe sent them on the campaign, one thousand from each tribe, them and Pinchas son of Eletzah the priest on the campaign, with the set-apart utensils and the trumpets for sounding in his hand. And they fought against the Midianites, as Yahweh commanded Moshe, and killed all the males. And they killed the sovereigns of Midian, with the rest of those who were pierced, Iwi, and Rekem, and Tur, and Hur, and Reva, the five sovereigns of Midian. And they killed Bilam son of Beor with the sword. And the sons of Israel took all the women of Midian captive, with their little ones, and took as spoil all their livestock and all their possessions. And they burned with fire all the cities where they dwelt, and all their settlements. And they took all the spoil and all the booty, both of man and beast. And they brought the captives and the booty and the spoil to Moshe, and to Eletzah the priest, and to the congregation of the children of Israel, to the camp in the desert plains of Moab by the Yarden of Yerichu. And Moshe and Eletzah the priest and all the leaders of the congregation went to meet them outside the camp. But Moshe was wroth with the officers of the army, with the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds, who had come from the campaign. And Moshe said to them, Have you kept all the women alive? Look, they are the ones who caused the children of Israel, through the word of Bilam, to trespass against Yahweh in the matter of Peor. And there was a plague among the congregation of Yahweh. And now, Kill every male among the little ones, and every woman who has known a man by lying with a man you shall kill. But keep alive for yourselves all the female children who have not known a man by lying with a man. And you, camp outside the camp seven days. Whoever has killed any being, and whoever has touched any slain, cleanse yourself and your captives on the third day and on the seventh day, and cleanse every garment and every object of leather, and all the work of goat's hair and every object of wood. And Eletzah the priest said to the men of the campaign who went to the battle, This is the law of the Torah which Yahweh commanded Moshe. Only the gold and the silver, the bronze, the iron, the tin, and the lead, every object that passes through fire, you put through fire, and it shall be clean. Only let it be cleansed with the water for uncleanness, and whatever does not pass through fire, you pass through water. And you shall wash your garments on the seventh day and be clean and afterwards come into the camp. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Count up the plunder that was taken of man and of beast, you and Eletzah the priest, and the heads of the fathers of the congregation. And you shall divide the plunder into two parts, between those who took part in the battle, who went out on the campaign and all the congregation, and set aside a levy for Yahweh on the men of battle who went out on the campaign, one out of every five hundred, of man and of cattle, and of the donkeys, and of the sheep. Take it from their half, and give it to Eletzah the priest as a contribution to Yahweh. And from the children of Israel's half, you shall take one of every fifty, of man, of the cattle, of the donkeys, and of the sheep, of all the livestock, and give them to the Levites, guarding the duty of the dwelling place of Yahweh. And Moshe and Eletzah the priest did as Yahweh commanded Moshe. And the booty remaining from the plunder, which the people of the campaign had taken, was six hundred and seventy-five thousand sheep, and seventy-two thousand cattle, and sixty-one thousand donkeys, and thirty-two thousand human beings, in all, of women who had not known a man by lying with a man. And the half, the portion for those who went out on the campaign, was in number three hundred and thirty-seven thousand five hundred sheep, and the levy unto Yahweh of the sheep was six hundred and seventy-five. And the cattle with thirty-six thousand, of which the levy unto Yahweh was seventy-two, and the donkeys, with thirty thousand five hundred, of which the levy unto Yahweh was sixty-one, and the human beings with sixteen thousand, of which the levy unto Yahweh was thirty-two beings. So Moshe gave the levy which was the contribution unto Yahweh to Eletzah the priest, as Yahweh commanded Moshe. And from the children of Israel's hearth, which Moshe divided from the men who campaigned, now the half belonging to the congregation was three hundred and thirty-seven thousand five hundred sheep, and thirty-six thousand cattle, 
and 30,500 donkeys and 16,000 human beings. Then Moshe took from the children of Israel's half one out of every fifty drawn from man and beast and gave them to the Levites, who guarded the duty of the dwelling place of Yahweh, as Yahweh commanded Moshe. And the officers, who were over thousands of the campaign, the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds, came near to Moshe, and they said to Moshe, Your servants have taken account of the fighting men under our command, and not a man of us is missing. So we have brought an offering for Yahweh, what every man found of ornaments of gold, armlets and bracelets and signet rings and earrings and necklaces to make atonement for ourselves before Yahweh. And Moshe and Eletzah the priest received the gold from them, all the fashioned ornaments and all the gold of the offering that they presented to Yahweh from the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds was 16,750 shekels. The men of the campaign had taken spoil, every man for himself. And Moshe and Eletzah the priest received the gold from the commanders of thousands and of hundreds, and brought it into the tent of appointment as a remembrance for the children of Israel before Yahweh.